one. So today I am so excited. Look how many lipsticks I recently received. You guys know how much I love lipsticks, liquid lipsticks. These are called the Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stains and there are 40 shades total and 27 new shades which I'll point out in the main part of the video as well. So there are so many new exciting shades. I'm so excited to share them with you. There is definitely something for every occasion. There is something for everybody. On my lips today, I am already wearing one just because I really wanted to put one on like ASAP. This is shade 20. It is a really light lavender purple. You will see when I apply these how opaque they are. They just glide on in one swipe. On your actual lips, they feel really really lightweight like you can't really feel the product when you touch your lips together you can't really feel any stickiness it's only if you really press your lips together super super hard that you can feel any kind of product so overall I would say they are really comfortable in the scent it's like a really pleasant light vanilla I would say as you can see this one is a matte formula they do have matte and satin finishes however they do not feel dry it lasts on your lips for a really really long period of time seriously nothing and as you apply it is just so so creamy if you do try out any of these make sure you use the hashtag beauty uncomplicated and the hashtag sephora collection so i can see what your favorite shades are and i want to see you wearing them send me your photos on twitter as well and instagram and facebook everywhere <laughs> by the way please excuse my nails i have not had them done in like a month and i've just gotten back from europe and i smacked so many when i was like carrying my suitcase around and i just broke them and i'm actually getting them redone tonight so <laughs> Let's get started. So I'm going to start off by showing you the 27 new shades. So the first one is 15 polished purple. This color just reminds me of something like a superhero would wear. It is so amazing. It's kind of got a metallic finish. It's one of the satin finishes. It is just so different. So out there. So bold. I love it. Next up we have 18 flame red. This is such a beautiful red color. It's quite deep but still super super wearable and bright. It's such a stunning color. If you love reds you need this one in your collection. It is so amazing. It just stands out and looks so good. Next up, we have 19 Radiant Orchid. It is so pretty as well. I'm sorry, I sound like a broken record. I'm just in love with these new colors. This one here is so pretty. It's just like a purplish kind of fuchsia color. It is so wearable as well for a purple color. Next is 20 White Iris, which you'll be familiar with from the introduction of this video. The really light kind of lavender color. It is so cool. It's so bright for spring and stuff. Definitely for you if you like an out there color. I'm usually kind of scared to wear these colors, but I don't know. I kind of like it with this makeup. Next up is 21 Pretty Beige, and this color here is actually, like, I don't know, it's one of my favorites. It's really, really deep, like a lot deeper than you would assume from the name. It's kind of like a brown on my skin tone, or not really a brown, maybe a grayish color. It is so beautiful. I loved it with this makeup as well. It's so cool. Next up is 22 Pink Latte. This color is so pretty as well. I know, I know, I'm saying the same thing over and over again this is another kind of nude but a lot more almost orange on my skin tone it's very very warm it really stands out and looks super beachy almost like I would pair this up with a bronze smoky eye so pretty next up is 23 copper blush and this color again is a personal favorite on myself I love how it contrasts on my skin tone it's quite deep on myself this would look so good on so many different skin tones as well especially if you have darker skin I feel like it would just pop I love it it's such a beautiful kind of copper nude. Now we have it 24 Burnt Sienna and this color is again a deeper color on myself. It's a really beautiful kind of pink deep burnt sienna color just as it would describe. It's really stunning actually. I really like it. I think it's quite elegant, quite classic. Looks perfect with the makeup I'm wearing now. I feel like it would suit a lot of different makeup looks as long as you kind of stay neutral or warm. It just looks so good. Next is 25 Coral Sunset. This color is really pretty too. It's kind of like a muted deep terracotta kind of red color. It's so stunning as well. Oh my gosh, I just live for these kinds of colors. I think they look so, so perfect. Uh, I don't even know what to say. I actually don't. I just love it. That's all I can say. It's beautiful. Next is 26 Pretty Auburn. This is stunning. It's basically just a really, really deep red, kind of like a muted deep red. Um, it is absolutely flattering. I feel like it's really flattering on my skin tone and I love it with the eye makeup. I think it would look amazing with neutral eyes and winged eyeliner or like a smoky eye or something like that. It's so perfect, especially for winter. This is 27 Black Cherry and compared to the last one, it's definitely a little bit more red a little bit more vibrant but still a 
very very dark as you can see quite vampy really sexy perfect for nighttime or winter or whatever you want to wear it for as you can tell I really 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 like this one <laughs> The next new shade is 28 Nightbird and this is just a really really pitch black black. Super dark so if you need a black lipstick, like if you like to wear blacks, I quite like black with black winged eyeliner and really simple makeup or if you need it for Halloween or anything, it's a really really good black. It's just super dark and super pigmented. This next colour which is called 29 Dark Forest is genuinely one of my ultimate favourites. I again was looking at this in the tube, not really expecting to like it that much but I tried it on and it is such a unique green it is so beautiful and it has kind of like a satin finish it kind of has like a reflective kind of feel to it so amazing unique the best green ever I'm obsessed with it it is so cool next is 30 sea mist and this is a really pale kind of blue color like pastel it is a very out there good for you if you like really bold lips and really out there lips. For me it's not something I would wear every day but it's a cool colour nonetheless. The next shade is Siren Song 31 and this one is a very similar kind of colour to the last one except a lot more green and it's like, I don't know, it's kind of like a minty green. A very pastel minty green. Again, really cool colour, not something I'd reach for often but if you are looking for something like this it's a really good formula. This shade here is called 32 Nude Blush and it is such a pretty pale pale nude. It's just like the perfect nude to go with any kind of eye makeup look. It will complement any makeup look perfectly. I I really really like this color. Next up is 33 Pink Peony and this color here is absolutely beautiful. It's another nude. It's a little bit darker, a little bit more beige. It's got a hint of pink in it. I really really love this as well. You guys know how much I love my nudes. Now we have 34 Wisteria Purple and this one surprised me like in the little tube I was expecting to not really like it on myself but it ended up being one of my favorites. I actually love it. It's so cool. It's a little bit colorful without looking too crazy and bold like it's just subtle. I love it. Next up is another purple. This one is 35 Bohemian Purple and it's a little bit darker than the last one. I actually loved this one also. It's quite wearable for a purple and I think it really flattered the eye makeup that I'm wearing today. I really like this one too. Which one haven't I liked so far? That is the question. Next up is 37 Pink Frosting. This is such a beautiful on-trend kind of muted nude pink colour. It is so, so pretty. It's not bright at all. Um, I think it just looked perfect with this eye makeup here and the little pop of colour on the cheeks. It's so flattering, so, so wearable for day or night, any occasion. Such a good colour. Next is 38 Sweet Raspberry and this is just a raspberry kind of pink colour. It's really wearable, perfect for daytime. I feel like you could wear this year round depending on what eye makeup you paired up with it. It could be, you know, spring, summer, autumn, winter, any season. It's a really beautiful colour that'll just look good on everybody. Now we have shade 39 Frozen Strawberry and this is a, another kind of muted um, deep brownish nude on my skin tone anyway. I love it. It has a little hint of pink in it. It's not super bright or anything obviously. I really like it though. It's kind of like a grungy warm brown or something like that on myself. Shade 40 is called Pink Tea and it is another muted colour, very on trend, again quite nude on myself, quite a warm kind of nude, it's got that hint of pink but very very subtle, it's more of like a beige to me, or on my skin tone anyway, I really like it, it's really really wearable and once again it'll go with absolutely any makeup look pretty much. Now we have 41 Vintage Rosewood, this is another stunning colour, it's so classic and just flattering it just looks so good it brings a whole lot of light to my face and just I don't know it's just flattering it's such a beautiful like deep kind of pinky rose color 42 rose wood this one is another kind of deep color this is like a deep red it's really really beautiful and I feel like it would just look really good at night with a nice smoky eye black winged eyeliner it's just very classic the next shade from the new shade range is 43 Crimson Crush and this is even darker than the last one. It's a really, really dark red. So if you like really, really deep vampy lips, this is perfect for you. I love this color. I am a really big fan of dark reds, if you can tell already. Um, and this one is no exception. It's so, so pretty. 
Next up is 44 Purple Sunset and this is another on trend muted kind of greyish colour. It's quite a dark nude on myself. Looks really really cool, really grungy. I really like it with the eye makeup I'm wearing today and I feel like it would suit a lot of different skin tones and a lot of different makeup looks as well. 45 Chai Latte is the last new shade from this collection and it is another beautiful kind of grayish nude color. A little bit lighter this time. Love it, love, love it. This is probably one of my favorites as well. It just, I don't know, I just think it looks really, really good on my skin tone. You guys can decide that for me. Let me know down below. <laughs> Next up is One Always Red and we are now on to the rest of the collection. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the swatches as well. This color is absolutely stunning. It is the perfect red it's perfect for daytime nighttime whatever it's super bright super bold it just packs a statement i love it this is three strawberry kissed and as you would imagine it's like a strawberry pink color it's like a medium color it's a little bit bright but i would call it more bold than anything it's not like super bright jump off your face but it does still make a statement next is four coral crush and this one is super super neon you can't even tell through camera it is so so bright and it is such a cool color i really like it perfect for summer and spring perfect for the beach and any beachy makeup bronze eye look you want to do now we have five infinite rose that's kind of like a satin uh, metallic kind of finish it is so so pretty i didn't know if i would like this one but once it was on i think it looks so so good it's just like the perfect kind of everyday pink with a punch next is six pink souffle and this is just a really nice everyday pink just like a really good my lips but better fresh pretty you know just goes with anything day-to-day -day pink this one here is seven cherry blossom and it is another pink it's a little bit brighter super super girly and just fun good for parties like i'd wear it in summer i don't know it's really cute i love a good pink and this one is really really flattering and bright and just fun this one here is eight whipped blush and this is also fun even more fun it is so neon and so bright it's one of the brightest things I've ever looked at in my life. You can't even tell it over the computer screen. Like, you need to try it out for yourself. It is so, so epic. Now we have nine watermelon slice. And this is just a really bright watermelon kind of pinky orange coral color. Perfect again for summer and spring. Perfect with a bronzed complexion and bronzed smoky eyes. So, so pretty. Now we have 10 Mandarin Muse and this is just a super super bright orange like a really really wearable bright orange. I love this. I love orange lips. They go well with so many different skin tones and they are just one of the most flattering colors you can wear. Next is 12 African Violet and this is a really nice kind of slightly purpley pink like a cool tone pink and again it's really really wearable. I really liked it with this makeup as well like the pinky shimmery eyes. It just looks so flattering. Really really like this one. Next Next is 13 Marvelous Morph and it is a really wearable pinky morph color. Again, just the perfect day-to-day -day color. It'll go with any makeup look nearly and it'll suit a wide variety of different skin tones. I really like this one. 14 Blackberry Sorbet is next and it is a really deep kind of raspberry pink color, berry pink color and it is really beautiful as well. Really good if you have a darker skin tone or a tan as well. It'll just look so good. I can just imagine it. If you're paler like me as well though, I think you could definitely pull it off. Um, especially in like winter and autumn, it's such a good like wintry color. So that is all of the shades. If you are interested in trying out any of these lip products, you can find them online at sephora.com slash collection. I'll put the direct link down below in the down bar for you. And I will also list every single color in order what I swatched today. I hope you found this video helpful. Truly, truly, these are really, really good and I love the colors. I thought quickly I would just show you a few of my favorites. I tried to only pick my very favorites and it still ended up being like a lot of different colors. These are like my must-have shades, but I feel like that's too many must-have shades. I like all the others too. For the more purpley shades, I have 34, 20, 12, and 19, they're like my ultimate favorites if you like purple lips. If you're a nude person, 32, 45, and 40 are like my top picks. And then some deeper neutrals, deeper reds and things. 26, 44, 21, and 24. These are the most amazing like winter colors as well. My favorite pinks, this one here, 
This is number six. This one here is number nine. Loved those. This one's like a watermelon pink. The reds were out of this world. So if you're a red person, number one, the super bright red. And then also I loved number three and number 25. And then I had to mention this color here because it blew me away. It's like by far the best green liquid lipstick I've ever put on my lips, color wise especially. This color just blew me away. It's the number 29. It's just incredible. Like I didn't realize I could love a green lipstick so so much. I need to do a tutorial. Like, I really need to. I hope you guys found this video helpful. It took me so long to film, so I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite shade was. And let me know if you liked this format or if you prefer, like, me talking through each shade. <sighs> I need some food. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!